In our last video, we saw that Rayleigh Jeans law and Wien's displacement law failed to predict the blackbody radiation curve. This was the failure of classical physics or the notions that scientists had before 19th century. If quantum mechanics is accepted worldwide today and if it is used to solve many complex problems, then the credit must go to the German physicist Max Planck. He was hired by some electrical company to give suggestions on making their light bulbs more efficient. While he was on that research, he accidentally stumbled upon this idea of energy quantization and gave an equation that predicted the black body radiation curve to perfection. So what did Max Planck propose? How did he solve this catastrophe? To answer that, we should first understand the black body. To study these bodies, scientists, including Max Planck, imagined a cavity with a small opening. If an electromagnetic radiation enters this cavity, it cannot come out. Due to multiple reflections, it will stay inside the cavity. This is in sync with the expected quality of the black body. That is, it should absorb everything that falls on it. Max Planck proposed that the walls of this cavity had tiny oscillators which oscillate back and forth. It is because of these oscillations, the black body is able to emit radiations. As they oscillate, they produce heat and that comes out as a radiation. Black body emits because of oscillation. He went on to propose that these oscillators emit energy in terms of packets. A quanta of energy. One quanta is the lowest possible energy state that oscillator can emit. He gave an expression E equals NHF, where H is called the Planck's constant, F is the frequency of the oscillator and N is a whole number like 1, 2, 3. So, the radiation coming out of black body is due to the thermal oscillations of the oscillator on the walls of cavity. And they come out in terms of packets or quantum of energy. So, energy has discrete levels. According to the equation E equals NHF, for higher energy emissions, the frequency of the oscillator should also be higher. But if the energy emission is very large, then the frequency of the oscillations must also be very large. The oscillators on the wall cannot reach this frequency because it is too high. So, the energy emitted from the black body decreases after a particular frequency and reaches zero. This is because there will be no oscillator that can oscillate at such a high frequency. The oscillators does not have enough energy to emit because you cannot have 1 by 2 quanta or 1 by 4 quanta of energy according to Max Planck. This proposition by Max Planck was a huge success. Based on this, he gave an expression for black body radiation which suits the experimental curve exactly. This great scientific work earned him Nobel Prize in the year 1918. Now, let us look at the Max Planck's loss equation. It is given as this. This prediction made way for Albert Einstein to prove that light is made of tiny packets called photons and light is a particle. We'll learn more on that in our next video where we discuss the wave particle duality. To sum up, in this video, we learnt energy is emitted by thermal oscillation of oscillators on the walls of cavity, the energy is quantized and the Max Planck's equation which fits with experimental black body radiation curve. This is all about Max Planck's hypothesis. See you in the next video.